Well, there are two court cases back here getting a lot of attention tonight. The first involves the murder of a former contestant from the reality show America's Next Top Model. Murjana Puhar was found shot to death, along with two other people, two men, in a home in Charlotte, North Carolina. After police arrested 19-year-old Emmanuel Rangel for the crime, Senator Chuck Grassley sent a letter to the Department of Homeland Security asking whether this guy was in the United States illegally and whether he was allowed to stay here under the president's Dreamer program despite the fact that he was in a known gang. There is still no response from DHS. Joining us now, Judge Anna Napolitano, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst. Even under, pre under the president's Dreamer program, if you are in a gang, you are, if you're a known gang member, you, right. you don't qualify. So if he was in a known gang and was allowed to stay here under deferred action you know, by the president, then, that, then the administration screwed up. Right. L l let's set some basics. Senator Grassley says he has a source. We don't know who the source is. And he's asking to confirm this at DHS. Correct. He's, he's received no response and thus he's, far. He's giving them a deadline. But the program under which Senator Grassley's source believes he was allowed to stay here was not legislated by Congress. This is another executive order written by the president, inconsistent with federal law, which basically says to people like this, if you do A, B, C, D, and E, I won't deport you. And the president made up the A, B, C, D, and E. It's not in the statute. This is not the part of the law. This is not an executive order that was challenged and enjoined by a federal judge in Texas two weeks Most ago. Most recently. Right. This was done two years ago. So far as I know, this has not been enjoined by any judge. And DHS but doesn't has it been play in. But doesn't this play into what we're going to see happen in the courts now on the president's most recent executive action? Because the Congress is saying, hey, there's a reason we're here. There's a reason we get to weigh in on the law when it comes to illegal immigration. And that reason is the Constitution, which says the Congress writes the laws and not the president. So when the president writes the laws and the Congress does nothing about it, and the whole government apparatus follows the president's newly written law the way he wants it to be, Congress is as much to blame as the president mm -hmm. is. We should not accept this sitting down. Whether you think these people should be here or not is not the story. The president shouldn't be making that decision, only Congress. Well, and clearly, if, if this guy was a confirmed gang member who was here never should have been well, that's here. Insane. Then, then, the, then the question about whether they can enforce their own executive orders according to the criteria the president sets with his pen and his phone right. uh, is going to come up again in the context of his new executive order as well. I want to switch gears because there is a terrible case out of Fairhaven, Massachusetts oh. where an 18-year-old named Conrad Roy committed suicide. And now a f friend of his, a young woman, 